So here at the University of Alabama, first things first, we're gonna always check our schedule. And then as y'all go on, y'all gonna see that I'm gonna pick out my outfit for the day, my shoes. And then I'm just gonna give y'all a little glimpse of kind of what I look like. I look kind of rough in the morning, but you know, we're gonna fix it up. Right here, guys, I will be showing y'all my morning routine whenever I'm just, you know, prepping myself, my face for the day. Y'all, I take a very, very long time <laughs> to get ready in the morning when it comes to my facials. I don't know why, and y'all gonna see in the end that I got a very minimalist look, y'all. So y'all gotta excuse me on how long I take when it gets comes down to getting ready. Now, I'm just gonna brush my teeth and just fix up my hair, you know, just I'm still just continuing getting ready for the day, y'all. I'm so sorry if this is still taking long. Gotta redo some of these little twists on my little hair that's coming out, but you know, we're gonna get it all fixed up for the day. And here goes the final look. Next, I'm gonna just go fix me some breakfast. For breakfast, it's gonna be a smoothie, y'all. Y'all, I got this blend jet, and I'm telling y'all, it is it works wonders y'all let me just put it like that it works wonders i love it y'all these smoothies come out tasting good every single time i get my stuff seriously from walmart like the frozen berries and stuff y'all it comes out good every time it doesn't gotta be really really expensive items next after i get done fixing my breakfast i pack my bags i get my smoothie and i'm ready to go for the day y'all Hey guys, I am on my way to my English class. I think I got three classes a day. Time right now is like 7.05. I am up pretty early, but I got like three 8 a.m. classes this week. So it's gonna be pretty interesting trying to hold it for the rest of the semester. And I will talk to y'all whenever I get there.
Okay guys, I am back. I was gonna go to class, but the door is locked. It is 7.17, class not starting at eight anyway. So yeah, I was there pretty early. So right now, I guess I'm gonna go get me some Starbucks because it seems like the only place that's really open right now. Seems like barely anybody is out. Yeah, I will catch you guys up whenever I get my Starbucks. people that want to do nursing other people just want to learn about Alabama stay tuned on my channel because I got a lot to say and a lot to do and I want to show y'all a vlogs or a uh, day in the lives anything like that that y'all want to see but um I will wait until my English class hopefully by the time I get back over there it will be open and I will continue recording there because y'all this is my first time doing YouTube and y'all my sister is literally staring at me from across the room right now but yeah, I'll catch y'all guys soon. Alright guys, today was very, very interesting. You can see I'm in a change of clothes right now. Y'all, I wanted to record going to English. And I want to record going to freaking um, human development and um, history that just was not happening. I had 10 minutes to get to each one of them classes. I thought it was just one class that I had 10 minutes to get to. No, it was all of them, 10 minutes in between to get each class. Um, let me see. Um, history wasn't that bad. It was just like straight across. So that wasn't really, really bad. It was at the Roy Hall. And my English was, like I said, it was in the English building. I walked in that room and y'all, people were already in there. And I'm like, I just went and got Starbucks and came back with people. They were already in there. And I had to send it towards the front. And y'all, out of respect for other people, I did not want to record other people if they did not want to be recorded. Also, um, the teacher, she was young and she was very, very, very like, Vib like vivid she was like bright and everything and she talked a lot i loved her y'all i ain't gonna lie i was so scared of how this was gonna go because getting a new teacher is not always a good thing because sometimes it's hard to adjust but y'all she was amazing um i went to history next y'all i made a friend in english and she also had the same history class and she wants to do neonatal nursing just like i want to tell me how fun that was that is like one of my favorite parts of like alabama you always meeting people you are always meeting people like this girl she was like spot on also y'all after i went to human development which i made it to like right on time that was the main one i was worried about y'all i was on the go i'm sorry i could not pull out my phone for nothing like because y'all i was on the go 
I'm so sorry. But yeah, I went to human development. That's the only class that me and her didn't have together. Made another friend. It was kind of awkward how me and her became friends. But it was just like, we went through the whole class and when it got towards the end of class, she decided like, can I take your Snapchat? And I was like, are you sure? And then she was like, I'm gonna be probably texting you and calling you for a lot of things. So I'm just gonna head to another class. I was like, oh, okay. And she was very nice and very cool. And y'all, I love her style. I need to get on it. <laughs> y'all dress so plain. <laughs> But um, after that, I went and got me something to eat, y'all. I was starving. That smoothie from earlier just was not holding me, y'all. I hate to say it, but I eat. I'm a person I like to eat, but I'm trying to better myself and eat healthier, y'all. That smoothie stuff is, that is not me. That is me trying to change and become a healthier eater, and I'm going to try to stick with it. And I went and I got me a salad, and as soon as I got that salad and ate, I went right back to the um, dorm, changed, and I went to go work out. Um, as always, in the gym, somebody hogging all the good um, machines and stuff. So I just went and got on the Stairmaster. Then I just grabbed me some dumbbells because like I said, y'all, it was guys everywhere that was hogging the machines. So I just got me some dumbbells and I went to like a yoga type room. You just mats on the floor and you just, just do basic workouts. You know, I was doing my own one workouts because that's really what I want to do. I really want to do that one workout today, but y'all, I, I cannot apologize enough. Today was, it was crazy. And I, y'all, if I didn't mention, this is like my first day back for the semester. So I didn't know where I was going. Technically, I knew the building I was going, the classroom. I didn't know where I was going. You know, some classroom has like two to three to four floors. So it's just like, Lord. And also, one thing I did get lucky with, my psychology class I, that I took on last semester, my history class is in that same building. It's actually the same class. So I got lucky with that one. Y'all, that class, it's not just a classroom, it's an auditorium. And not just that, my um, my human development class is an auditorium too. And y'all, I want to pull out my camera so bad in there. But like, y'all, I had the, the um man, he was telling us uh, the expectations from students and their grade versus actual reality. And y'all, I was trying to pay real close attention. I'm so sorry. I was locked in. I'm the person I want to get the information in. So I will say I will definitely do better in another day. Don't lie. This one was definitely not perfect. But right now I am fixing to head to my sister's classroom. She needs a charger. And then after that, I guess I will show y'all me studying and doing my work. I, I will try my best to do work. Y'all, this is my first day. I got training, so if I don't, don't hold me to it. But y'all, today was it was it was a rush. It was a it was a rush. But I'm actually kind of happy that it's over with. Y'all, my class ends at my last class ends at 10:50, so my day ends basically at 11 a.m. I'm still in the a.m. Tomorrow, it's probably my day starts at I think 10 or 11. I think. Y'all, I'm still learning this stuff, so that's what I'm saying. These days, this day in the life is just like, hopefully it's not a bliss, but y'all, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. And um, I think I got, uh, I think I got math tomorrow, and then I got chemistry. Chemistry, organic chemistry, one of the hardest classes in college to take. Y'all, I'm scared. I'll get out, but like I was scared last um semester about the first chemistry set made it out with a B, so I don't want to go ahead and doubt myself. But y'all, please stay tuned. Like I said, I'm new to this, but y'all, it's gonna be some amazing stuff coming out that I just chill, relax, and just calm down. One thing I really want to do is I'm hoping to um vlog the LSU versus Alabama basketball game this weekend. So yeah, y'all definitely stay tuned. It's gonna be my first experience at Alabama's basketball game. So I'm, I'm gonna dress cute. I'm gonna see how nice it is and everything. Cause that's what everybody keeps saying. They were excited for, for this semester. I'm like, I'm excited to just end it. 
but let me stop talking. I will definitely catch y'all guys up later. Well guys, I am back. I am out on the quad at the University of Alabama. It is actually pretty nice out here. It has not been this cool in a while. And I don't got work until like six o'clock. So I'm gonna continue planning and just start reading my history book that I gotta read. I don't think I got much else to do. I'm gonna have to look back on my computer and see if I got anything else to do. My computer's open, I guess. Right now. So I guess right now is just gonna be my chill break because y'all, I have never had just no space. It's like, as soon as I get off, I gotta go to work or if I'm not working, I have to study. So pretty happy right now about my schedule. So let's look this. Um, I have nothing to do today or tomorrow or the next day. So yeah, that's how I kind of figured how this one was gonna start. It was just gonna be a civil this week. And them just introducing everything to us and getting to know us. Well, my um, human development class, my teacher, he didn't try to get to know us because there were so many of us in the classroom, but he introduced himself to us. He was very nice and he was laid back and he told us if we just show up, that class would be pretty easy. So I'm just praying for a good grade in that class. Um, English. Just do the work. Basically, get hundreds. Uh, and the final exam is about the only really, really, really important thing you gotta work hard on for um, history. I said I already gotta read a book, but it's like uh, each chapter is like 15 pages, so that shouldn't be that bad. And we also got a quiz on it two days out the week, or like one day out the week. So every week we got a quiz. Um. I think that is it for real for today. Like I said, I got work at like six. I will try my best to record me going to work, but right now, uh, it's just a chill, relaxed day and catch up on studying and some more to the syllabus because people, the teachers have been adding more stuff throughout the day, throughout the day, throughout the day. And I'm like, I just broke everything down that y'all sent in the syllabus and y'all are still sending stuff out. Yeah. So a little annoying, but I ain't gonna worry about it. So like I said, I will catch y'all guys up later, hopefully, while I'm at work. Okay, y'all, like y'all can probably tell behind me, it is nighttime. It is going on, um, I just took my Apple Watch off. I think it's like 9, 12, 9, 13 right now. My day is officially over with. I am so sorry I couldn't record at work and I know y'all gonna get sick of me saying I'm sorry, but y'all, I couldn't. But work, I just work at the Alumni Calling Center for the University of Alabama. Um, it's not much to it at all. All you have to do is just call alumni, people who donated or haven't donated or were like donators but haven't donated in like probably like five, ten years. Just talk to them, catch up with them, and ask for donations basically. Which, yeah, was pretty easy. It wasn't hard, you know. I'm so happy because I'm working. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. And it gives me like a whole day. Like I said, y'all, I, today, I didn't even know what to do with myself because I'm not used to having free time at all. Last semester killed me. <laughs> I was proud of myself because I made it out with really good grades, but <laughs> it was not easy at all. 
like I said, I love the soup store. I love everybody there that I work with. It was just, y'all, I missed my first football game. Well, I didn't miss it. I didn't get the experience that everybody got going to Alabama. And I never seen the bands play or like go through the streets, like a little parade and everything. I get, did not get to line up on the streets and watch them go down towards the football stadium. Y'all, I miss family day because I, I that was like one of the things I thought that I was supposed to, you know, um, go to even though I had work. And uh, the manager told me, no, that you don't do that. We need you to work and everybody else is having to work. So you're gonna work too. And I was like, that's understandable on it. And so it's unfair for me to go to family day and the rest of them ain't at family day because y'all is mostly just students working there, so. Kinda, yeah, I understood it, but at the same time, I was like, this is my first year here, <laughs> and I'm missing out on stuff like that. So it kinda hurt a lot, but um, something I just gotta get over, I did, I guess. But then it just started like happening again. One time she told me I had two hours to go to a game and come back. Y'all, I paid for tickets, and I paid for them to go to the game have a good time, have a good experience, not be rushed back to work. <laughs> and yes, that was exactly what I was told. So at least this semester, even though I didn't get a good football season in at all, at least I get to get basketball in because like I said, um, I can out every Saturday I was out working. And even whenever it was a game day, I had to work and I had to work up like an hour before the game. One time they scheduled girl like 30 minutes before the game started like she ain't even gonna get a good seat it's packed and everything now but they just didn't care but um yeah thank god for the new job it actually went really good today the people were very nice it was very relaxed we had snacks and everything there and it was pretty it was pretty good and i loved it i loved it y'all i did um ain't gonna lie at first it was hard with me making friends <laughs> because it's like everybody seemed like they were I hate to say it but like cooler than me <laughs> like they had like they were older also they were older like some of them was like juniors and seniors and sophomores and they were some of them was like partiers and some of them was like in sororities and fraternities and stuff so they had a lot more going on with their lives than I do and they were just talking about all the crazy stuff that they be doing and going through and like the issues or like yeah it was it, it was a lot more than i had to talk about i'm telling you <laughs> but um they were still nice people at the end of the day and let me see what else came from the day i'm not tired because y'all i'm telling y'all i used to be that person every time i got back i just want to go to sleep i'm not even gonna lie like sometimes like at the um, soup store I used to work at, like, I'd get off at, like, 5 and, well, 5.15, and I'd be just ready to go to sleep because I just went a whole day of school, well, half a day of school, and then as soon as I got out of school, I had to go straight to work, and it was like, I need to stop complaining because I know it's a lot of people out there that probably does way more than I do. So yeah, I, Lord, please forgive me for complaining as much as I do. But thank God for letting me make it through this semester and thank God for letting me have a new job. Uh, Y'all, I think I'm gonna relax tonight. I did get a lot of my reading done. I got, I think like 12 more pages to go on the, and y'all, it's not due until, the first quiz ain't due until next week, so. I can get that done in a weekend, 12 pages. That's not hard at all. And I've been doing like a lot of marking and she said it's open book. So, hey, I should do good on my first, um, my first quiz in history. I just gotta make sure I pay attention to what um, the book is telling me and the main point. Uh, English, I'm seeing them post a lot of stuff on um, Blackboard. If y'all know what that is, it's just what platform that our colleges use to help us um, do our assignments and everything we get them turned in. And I haven't seen nothing that's really due for her just yet, but I'm just gonna keep looking, keep make sure um, 
Let me see. And human ability is still nothing for real, for real. And then tomorrow, like I said, I got um, chemistry and math tomorrow. So it's two classes, easy days. Thank God for that. Um, and then just wait around until work comes again. And then tomorrow, I mean Friday, just mm, let's see what I got tomorrow. English, human development, no history tomorrow. And I'm supposed to have a lab with chemistry, but it doesn't start until next week, I think. So I have nothing to do for the rest of that day because, like I said, I'm with work, I'm with work um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So my Friday, Saturday, Sundays are free. And the last thing I really will be doing tonight, I'm just going to get cleaned up, um, do my Bible study, y'all. I have. I have started studying the Bible. It has, I haven't like started with the Bible, been started with the Bible. And now I'm really trying to grow deeper in my faith. So, um, yeah, when I first started, it was just like these verses, encouragement and everything, basically about um, how we should live our lives. And I did it with that version app. So you version, of course, it didn't start from the beginning. It was just hitting on like these straightaway good points. And, I learned a lot from you, Virgin, y'all. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I learned a lot. And it was like the more I read it, and the more I was going through it and seeing it, the more I'm sorry I saw problems with myself. And I was hearing it in the world. And I was like, y'all, okay, we need to stop. Like, my heart, like, when people were swearing, I was like, y'all, well, you let's not do that. But I need to get back on it. And I want to get stronger with it and not just. Um, know what the Bible is not telling us to do. I want to know the verse. I want to be able to say, okay, that verse says that I know it does. And I am, I started reading the book from the beginning to the end. Y'all know they say the Bible is um, kind of not that interesting. I guess it's not interesting to some people, but y'all, just these stories are crazy. <laughs> just in the beginning, it was already crazy. But it was very kind of inspirational it was cute and everything for like romantic interest and all that it was a lot of that involved i finished genesis and now i'm on exodus right now and yeah i'm gonna read that tonight and y'all i guess i will try my best to catch up with y'all sometimes hopefully i create a better day in a life for y'all like i said today was it was a rush, and y'all gotta excuse me because it was my first day back, and I did not know what I was doing or going. So, yeah, but I can breathe now, thank God. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions or anything y'all want to see, or like anything y'all interested in on campus that y'all want me to talk about, I promise y'all I am free to do anything now that I know I got a little bit of extra time, wiggle room, anything like that. And I will try my best to do whatever y'all want me to do. Like, I'm here for y'all because, like I said, this is a day in the life. I'm just trying to show y'all what's up and what y'all want to know or what may want to know and all that and yeah i will catch y'all guys some more and i wish y'all a very good night and i pray y'all rise tomorrow with many many blessings in store